It is time for another Theme Park Coasting Top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down for top 10 rides at Wicksteed Park. Starting off at number 10, we are going to jump aboard the Classic Railway and whether you are looking for a relaxing ride around the park or just want to see what attractions to do during your day, then this is a must do. One thing that I particularly love about this train ride though is that unlike many others at theme parks around the world, they keep the retro charm to the ride while also making it enjoyable for park guests. Therefore, there is no doubt that Railway deserves to be on the list. Choo Choo It is time for our first roller coaster as coming in for the number 9 position, we have Clown Coaster. Now before we even start to talk about the ride experience itself, that face is petrifying. Especially for a children's ride, I know that when I was younger, I sure would have had nightmares from it. However, the layout is definitely not as scary with its small lift hill followed by an airtime hill as well as a few bank turns. So for all of the kids out there, if you don't want to look at the front of the train, it is actually quite a fun ride. For a more intense but 100% not as petrifying ride than Clown Coaster, our number 8 spot Ladybug Roller Coaster will definitely not bug you da ding ding on a genuine note however even it being basically a bigger version of clown coaster unless you are wanting the coaster credit in my eyes you do one of the more unique attractions at the park first before riding to have a better day nevertheless with its fun theming and layout it definitely does not disappoint at number 7 on our top 10 list, brace yourselves as we have Dodgems, and as you can probably guess by the name, it is your classic Dodgems ride. As soon as the bell rings, get ready to dash, bash and crash into other guests in one of the highly bright coloured cars located on the track. And if you want to have even more of a better experience than you already have, make sure to sit in separate cars to your family and friends, as nothing beats the feeling of bashing into each other. Unfortunately though, to drive, you will have to be above the height of 1.4 metres and to be a passenger above 1 metre, which I have never seen before in a ride, but I guess rules are rules. Have you ever wanted the feeling of soaring through the sky? Well, if so, you will love our number 6 spot, Sway Rider, as you can do just that on this chair swing attraction. By no means is this one of those 400 feet swingers in places like America, but with it swinging around at 30 miles per hour though in the air, it is extremely enjoyable for adults and kids alike. But it does not stop there as once you make it to the 30 feet, the structure will tilt at a 45 degree angle, giving anyone an adrenaline rush to remember. Top 5, woo woo, and coming in for this position, we have Water Shoot. And before we even begin, if anyone has seen a ride like this before, please comment down below because this is so unique and I have never seen or even experienced anything like this. In terms of the ride itself, it is quite self-explanatory, but you will leave the station to then drop into a massive load of water, getting you a little bit wet for the rest of your day. So, what are you waiting for? On those hot UK days, get yourself onto Britain's oldest water chute. Sick bags ready as for the number four spot we have Paratrooper and if you enjoyed Sway Rider then you would love this attraction. In a nutshell you will sit on a ski lift style gondola which will then spin around in circles while also rising up at a 45 degree angle providing both thrills as well as a flying sensation that we all know and love. So despite me joking earlier about you getting a little bit dizzy on this ride, even though it still does spin you around pretty fast, it is definitely a must-do attraction for the thrill-seekers out there. 
Here we enter the top three rides at the park and for this spot we have Galaxy Invaders. Now from first sight you may be thinking, why is this tiny Funfair style ride in the top three? But just hear me out. What is so great about this flat ride is that unlike your normal ride where you just sit there and let it spin you around in circles, Galaxy Invader has an interactive aspect towards the ride bringing it easily from an 8 to a 3. Basically when you spin around on this attraction there is a button located next to you which by pushing will make your car go outwards before coming back in again. How cool is that? Between number 2 and number 1 it was tough and to be honest I think it does depend on whether you are a coaster enthusiast or not. However, over here on Theme Park Coasting, due to us knowing that the UK weather is rarely any good, we have chosen Rocky River Falls for number two. On this log flume, you will start off with many gentle twists and turns through all of the trees, scenery pieces and little wet surprises. This ride is not all easy sailing though, as you will climb up a lift hill before a plummet into a load of water really finishing off the ride with a splash. We have finally made it to the number one spot and taking this position we have no other than Dinosaur Valley, the most raw-tastic ride at the park. As far as coasters go for a small park like this it is actually very impressive with many drops, helixes in addition to some twists and turns that you will typically find on a coaster of this sort at a 28 miles per hour speed. All of this and the lovely scenery surrounding the ride creates an awesome experience for the whole family and a cred that will never be forgotten. Therefore, without a shadow of a doubt, a trip to the park is not complete without a ride on Dinosaur Valley. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love. And at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasting and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.